thanks for joining us once again here on Tissue World Television. We're going to meet now one of our sponsors who is involved both as an exhibitor and fully involved in the conference at all levels from Turkey, um, Alp Eryucu, and I've got to hope that pronunciation is right, Eryucu. Yes. As a non-Turkish person, <laughs> I'm just going to call you Alp, if that's okay. Yeah. Um, tell me why you're here and why did you decide to become a sponsor, sir? Well, uh, we have been a part of Tissue World uh, locally in Istanbul for a long time now. Yeah. We were first attending these uh, exhibitions, but then we decided to become one of the sponsors in Istanbul since Tissue World has been, uh, it's held in Istanbul for quite a few times now. And uh, this time we wanted to meet with our customers in Milan and uh, Milan is attracting many, many uh, uh, paper producers, converters, tissue producers, pulp producers from around the world. Mm. So uh, while we are here, we wanted to meet with new clients as well. And uh, being a sponsor helps uh, for Raise getting the profile your a bit name as well. out there. Yeah, yeah I certainly yeah. understand that. Um, I know it's always hard to tell how much business you do is an immediate thing. From what I've seen looking in from the conference and the exhibition from the outside, um, it looks like an awful lot of meetings and really good business discussions are taking place. Would you say the same, sir? Well, um, tissue is a, uh, we wish it wouldn't be, but tissue is a commodity. We yeah. have to accept that reality. So that means we are always meeting with clients. We are meeting, we, our products are meeting with consumers every day, every second, and people need it. And uh, we are in a business where there is a lot of business, but you have to always do uh, at best of what you can do in order to raise the quality of, uh, of the business at all. Yeah. So yes, it's a busy uh, meetings, it's a busy exhibition, it's, uh, it looks busy all the time. It is because it's a huge process of uh, logistics, production, uh, sales, marketing, and even uh, you wouldn't expect uh, after sales services. Yeah, I hear that. Now the theme that we used here for the conference this year was smart and sustainable solutions. Um, yeah. You know, I'm hearing that time after time after smart. time. Um, <laughs> how is your business getting smarter and what are you doing to make your business more sustainable yeah. from a customer's perspective? Uh, smarter, uh, if you would uh, translate it uh, in, in our understanding, it would mean Yes, sustainable and efficient. Uh, efficiency is the way uh, for, uh, if we are talking again about a commodity product, yes. what does the consumer want? They want it to be uh, uh, efficient in terms of ev in every aspect. Of course. Uh, the efficiency in uh, reaching the product, the efficiency in logistics, efficiency in pricing, efficiency, that means efficiency in costs. So uh, everything related to that. And also, with uh, today's problems all around the world, it has to be uh, uh, sustainable. And eco-friendly and energy efficient and all yeah. of those things. Yeah. It's, not, it's not a luxury anymore, it's a must. That's why we are a part of many different programs from around the world. And uh, as a Turkish producer, although it is not required by our society, uh, we are the uh, leading uh, company in Turkey advertising and claiming that our brands are the most uh, uh, sustainable, uh, eco-friendly uh, brands uh, in and around Turkey. And also we are servicing most of our c uh, customers around the world, both in Jumbo Rolls and also in finished products with uh, many different certifications claiming that they are always uh, eco-friendly and this is uh, possible to be audited and controlled in every aspect. Now, one of the things that intrigues me, Alp, as well, is that uh, people have talked about a lot of saturation of the market in traditional European sense. You know, you're perfectly poised from where you are geographically in a Turkish mm -hmm. situation, not only to get business in, in the European market, mm -hmm. but also to expand into developing markets. Africa in particular is a growth market. We know that Asia is growing, Latin America is growing. How are you feeling from your organization's perspective about the rest of the world? Is it a good opportunity for you? We are the, at the heart of what you have just asked. Uh, we are a, a growing, developing country, yeah. uh, still in the mid-GDP uh, range per yeah. person. And uh, we are very close to both uh, underdeveloped 
countries and developing countries as well as neighboring to European Union uh, countries. So we are serving both uh, Africa, Asia, Europe and uh, even up to the places uh, where there are there's very few population in, uh, uh, in islands close to Australia or even uh, wow. in the big ocean. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, you know, for you, the world is literally at your doorstep and, and you're ready to grow and trade. Tissue's got a big future. T tissue has had that uh, for a while and uh, it's, it's a necessity for hygiene, it's a necessity for health, it's, a it's not a luxury for any part of the world anymore. Even uh, what we would call underdeveloped countries 20 years ago, today, yeah the reach of tissue is quite high. In Turkey, this is, this is up to 90% at this point. So it's available for everyone in every store, even at places where the tissue is not sold, it is used. So from my understanding, it's a product uh, that has its highest reach to every place. Even here around us, in these booths, you can see tissue being used all the time ev and it's not sold. Absolutely. It's just served. Yes. Amazing. Well, I wish you and your company much success into the future. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a sponsor. And most importantly, thank you for coming down to talk to us at Tissue World TV. Thank a you real for pleasure. Us. Thank you, sir. Thank you.